Hi Aditya, welcome on Yourpedia. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Okay, and Aditya, I must congratulate you because uh, you got uh, selected in very prestigious uh, Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, and you are a civil engineer. That makes this entire interaction even more special because uh, there are many, you know, apprehensions among civil engineering students uh, related to public sectors and uh, especially related to NPCIL. So I'll be discussing with you uh, in detail about this particular thing. So Aditya, uh, I start my interaction with you, uh, with your uh, brief background, in which we expect that uh, you tell us about your uh, background. Aap kahan se hain? Aur aapka qualification kahan se hua hai? Aapne graduation kahan se kiya? Kab kiya aapne graduation? Aur aapki gate ki journey kaisi rahi abhi tak ki? So this basic, basic things you tell us first. So my name is Aditya Ojha. I come from Bilwada, Rajasthan, and I completed my B.Tech in Civil Engineering from Delhi Technological University. I am a 2023 batch uh, pass out, and my grade journey started uh, from third year, um, and uh, in, in fourth year I got uh, 314 rank in grade 2023, and through this I was uh, uh, called for interview in NPCIL. Hmm. अच्छा आदित्य आपने थर्ड ईयर में जो गेट लिखा था उसमें कैसा रहा था आपका स्कोर 2800 रैंक आई थी सर 2800 आ? और फिर yes, उसके sir. बाद आपका जो रैंक है दैट इंप्रूव टू 300 समथिंग यस सर हम्म सो आदित्य शुड स्टूडेंट राइट गेट इन थर्ड ईयर व्हाट इज योर व्यू ऑन दैट डेफिनेटली सर दे शुड राइट गेट इन थर्ड ईयर बिकॉज it allows them to experience the competitive environment that is present on the particular day of the gate exam because mm -hmm. it's uh, quite different from J mains and all all those uh, exams it's very different and the pattern of the gate is changing day by day like the msq has been introduced and nat and all so yeah they should definitely write in third year Hmm. Achha, aap, Aditya, now you are a fresh graduate. Just now you graduated uh, in 2023 and you got a very prestigious job also. Uh, and you graduate from a very prestigious university. Delhi Technical University is a very prestigious institute. Uh, I presume that after uh, 12th, you will have opportunities in other branches. Mein bhi jane ki, like computer science, electronics, other branches. And nowadays students uh, you know, uh, prep, uh, go for uh, branches like computer science because there are jobs and all. I want to ask you a straight question that uh, why you decided to be in civil engineering at the first place? Because if you have DTU in civil engineering, I am sure you have computer science options in computer science. So why did you choose civil engineering? First of all, I wanted to join armed forces, like okay. uh, either army or air force. But, uh, and even I prepared for that, I got my uh, 10 plus 2 PES call for SSB. But then I had a talk with a currently serving major, he is in AMC. Then he told that I won't be medically fit for armed forces due to my eyesight problem. So then I switched uh, to GATE. And mm -hmm. uh, I always wanted to join like uh, central services. So that was a major reason to join civil engineering. Okay. So that through civil, you could get into central jobs, right? Yeah. Okay. Aditya, Mirko, because you're a civil engineer and you have graduated from a very good university also, and I'm very sure you have placement opportunity. Uh, Mirko, how many civil engineers typically have options? What are the typical opportunities available to civil engineers? Sir, if we see in uh, regards to the DTU kind of placement, so in DTO, if you have a basic knowledge of civil engineering, then you will uh, land in a good MNC like PLF, Samsung Engineering, and uh, any more. Like if you have a basic knowledge of civil, then you surely can get a, a package in between six to eight L. Mm -hmm. Like there are various MNCs recruiting to uh, civil. But in seeing, it comes that if you go to non-core jobs, like suppose data science, etc. तो आपको 10 15 12 15 20 15 20 का पैकेज मिल जाता है तो व्हाई अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ कोर ब्रांच शुड ऑप्ट फॉर अ कोर जॉब विद लेस पैकेज एंड यू नो नॉट नॉन कोर इसमें आपका क्या मानना है मेरा मानना यही है अगर आपको इंटरेस्ट है सिविल के फील्ड में लाइक जो कोर जॉब लाइक सिविल मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल 
तो डेफिनेटली यू शुड गो इन टू फॉर जॉब्स बिकॉज स्टार्टिंग में यहाँ पे पैकेज बहुत कम होता है लाइक सिक्स टू एट एल पी बट द ग्रोथ इज देन एक्सपोनेंशियल लाइक आफ्टर फाइव टू टेन ईयर्स यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट मोर देन ट्वेंटी एल पी तो दैट्स द मेन रीजन एंड सेकेंड देर आर वेरियस रिक्रूटमेंट इन स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो लाइक ऑल ऑफ देम आर प्रेस्टिजियस जॉब्स बेटर देन एम एस सीज तो दैट्स ऑल्सो वन रीजन so we we can also say that is civil engineering mein government jobs are maximum right state mein dekh yes, lo sir. public sector mein dekh lo so if somebody is interested for government jobs then i think these branches are very good like civil engineering and all yes sir okay now aditya coming to uh, public sector uh, npcl uh, tell me with the gear gate score uh, jo aapko mila tha 300 something gate score you were saying uh, kon kon se public sector se call aane ke chance hote hain and सिविल इंजीनियरिंग में कितने रैंक तक लाने पे आपको कॉल आने के चांस होते हैं अभी जैसे आईयूसीएल आने वाला है तो उसमें भी कॉल्स आती हैं रिमेम्बर लास्ट ईयर आईयूसीएल में कॉल्स आई थी सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स को एंड मे बी यू विल आल्सो गेट तो क्या आपको लगता है कहाँ तक कॉल्स आती है विद दीज स्कोर्स इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग आई थिंक इफ यू आर इन लाइक अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी देन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट कॉल अप टू फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड रैंक एंड इन समी एस यूज लाइक गेल they are only allow like uh, two year student either recently passed out or uh, maximum one year passed out like in 2023 they allowed 23 pass out and 22 pass out only so in that particular case a person in a general category can expect uh, that he will get a call up to 800 900 rank because i know people who got rank uh, like uh, who got 800 rank but still got call for interview in eil okay mm hmm hmm ओके सो जनरल कैटेगरी में 500 रैंक तक कॉल आने के चांस है राइट यस सर हम्म ओके नो आदित्य कमिंग टू न्यूक्लियर पावर कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड सो नो डाउट देयर इज अ पावर प्लांट एंड देयर आर सो मेनी पब्लिक सेक्टर्स आल्सो सो एज अ सिविल इंजीनियर व्हाई अ पर्सन शुड जॉइन यू नो पावर प्लांट लाइक एनपीसीएल तो एक पावर प्लांट है तो एज अ सिविल इंजीनियर क्या रोल्स रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज रहता है अगर आपने अभी तक किसी से बात किया हो वहां पे अभी तक तो जिससे दो तीन जनों से बात हुई है तो उन्होंने यही कहा है कि लाइक उनकी सबसे पहला वर्क होता है बेसिक मेंटेनेंस पर अगर कोई पावर प्लांट ऑलरेडी कंस्ट्रक्टेड है तो उसके आपको मेंटेनेंस करनी है जो कंक्रीट की लेयरिंग होती है उसके अराउंड रिएक्टर के अराउंड और जो भी लाइक जो टाउनशिप है उसके अंदर जो वेरियस कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज हो रही है लाइक रोड्स बन रहे हैं बिल्डिंग्स बन रही है तो उन सब का आपको मैनेजमेंट करना है और अगर कहीं पे नया बीएसपुर बन रहा है लाइक इन रावत भाटा एंड कुंदन कुलम एंड बीज फाइव तो वहां पे अगर आप थोड़े सीनियर पोस्ट पे हैं तो फिर आपको रिएक्टर बनाना है लाइक जो रिएक्टर की आउटर कंस्ट्रक्शन होती है वो आपको देखनी होती है इन ट्रू पार्ट ऑफ एनपीसी एनपीसीएल बी ए आर सी इनके इंटरव्यू अच्छे माने जाते हैं तो आप हमारे साथ डिटेल में शेयर कीजिए कि इंटरव्यू आपका कैसा गया था क्या क्या उन्होंने पूछा था आपसे कितने लोग वहां पे बैठे थे और अगर जितना आप डिटेल में बताएंगे वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू टू द स्टूडेंट्स यार यस सो माय इंटरव्यू वाज शेड्यूल्ड ऑन 17th ऑफ जून इन मुंबई एनपीसीएल गेस्ट हाउस सो एंड माय इंटरव्यू वाज नंबर वाज 6 सो बिफोर मी लाइक 5 परसेंट हैड गिवन इंटरव्यू एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूज वर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम 30 मिनट्स टू 40 मिनट्स and uh, my interview timing was 45 46 minute i guess mm-hmm. and uh, uh, like if you, you get the token numbers for interview on first mm-hmm. come first serve basis and uh, then you get get to sit in the lounge and uh, mm-hmm. after that you are called uh, like a serial wise number and mm-hmm. uh, then if you enter you will see like there in my case nine interview nine interview uh, members were there one okay. chairman and four four on both sides okay mm. so then the chairman had a basic talk and uh, then i had given my introduction to him and then he asked like uh, you are a recent graduate so i don't think you had a uh, prepared a much uh, uh, academic content and uh, then he asked like uh, what are the subjects you have prepared for interview so i replied like uh, soil rcc home structure and all basic subjects and uh, before me when a student uh, had given the interview so he was not able to solve a question of sft bmd so it was a double continuous beam on both side it was continuous and some loading was given so he was not able to draw the sft of the beam but mm-hmm. i was given the 
task to complete the SFD as well as PMD and draw its deformation diagram. Mm -hmm. So I was a like uh, I did some mistakes, but they only corrected me by saying that uh, it's wrong and you can't do this and that. And secondly, they gave me another question for which I had to find out the reaction. Like on one side it was a fixed beam, and mm -hmm. on other side it was a continuous beam. So I had mm -hmm. to find the uh, and in one uh, mid uh, at mid or at a uh, two L by three distance, there was a, a roller support and uh, some moment was there. So I had to find the reactions, all the reactions, and that they just wanted to know that uh, I know the procedure like summation F y equal to zero and all. Uh, like mm -hmm. I know that there we have to apply compatibility condition to find the reaction, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all about the show. Then mm -hmm. they switched to basic basics like uh, we can say engineering mechanics and all. So mm -hmm. they gave me a I section, and mm -hmm. uh, they gave me some dimensions. Then mm -hmm. they asked like, uh, what will be its uh, plastic axis? Mm -hmm. So I gave the formula and all. So they were okay, like they were satisfied. Then they asked uh, to draw the elastic axis. Mm -hmm. I drew that also. And then there was a like a bit tricky question for a PTEC pressure. Like they asked, like, suppose if uh, this I section is 10 meter long and uh, mm -hmm. you are the site in charge at the some power plant and mm -hmm. the contractor is asking for payment. So how will you mm -hmm. do the payment? Mm -hmm. Like what will be the cost of this uh, beam as per current market rates? So mm -hmm. I did not know the what are the current market rates, but I did a basic evaluation. Like we can find the area of the beam, and then we can multiply it with length and uh, multiply with density to know mm -hmm. the current weight of the beam, and mm -hmm. what's the uh, like uh, current uh, value of per kg of steel. Through mm -hmm. that, we can give the exact payment. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, okay, chalta uh, itna, it malum nahi hota hai. And then mm -hmm. they asked, like, what will be the density of steel? Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I was a little bit nervous. And it suddenly, like, got picked out of my mind, density of steel. Mm -hmm. Then they asked, what is the density of RCC? So I mm -hmm. replied 25. And then mm -hmm. they told, like, uh, it's more than three times. Then I mm -hmm. uh, understood, like, 78.5. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I replied and all. Now they mm -hmm. asked me to sit back because this all procedure was being done on the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I asked, they asked me, okay, okay, sit now. And uh, after that, the other panel members got into the interview mm -hmm. and uh, they asked uh, about basic building materials mm -hmm. like uh, cement and all. And mm -hmm. after that, they were like, uh, you are from Bilwada, Rajasthan. So we have mm -hmm. a plant in Rawat Bhata. Mm -hmm. So uh, one building material is material is very famous from Kota. So what's that? Um, I was not able to recall the material. Uh, mm -hmm. So then they asked like, uh, what's uh, what's uh, this flooring? So I replied like, it's a vitrified clay tile. And then they asked two, three more types of tiles and all. Then they replied mm -hmm. like, if you have to prevent the slippage of a person, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. what type of tile you will prefer? So I replied mm -hmm. like ceramic tile or there is one Kota stone. So they started laughing like, uh, we mm -hmm. ask you what's famous of Kota and then you didn't reply Kota Stone and now you are saying Kota Stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then they ask like, uh, if you want uh, cement in open, mm -hmm. like 100 ton, 200 ton, so mm -hmm. can we get it? So mm -hmm. I have seen many trucks because my area is of lime stone and all. So there are many cement factories here in okay. Chittorgad and Kota region. So I replied mm -hmm. like there are uh, trucks in which we can carry a good amount of uh, cement because mm -hmm. if a large amount of cements are required, then we don't uh, uh, acquire cement bags because it's very tricky, like the tear every 50 kg bag and place it mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, okay, you have some like basic knowledge. And mm -hmm. then they switched to uh, geotechnical. Okay. So mm -hmm. in geotechnical engineering, they asked like, uh, uh, your region is quite close to Madhya Pradesh. So mm -hmm. what is the basic type of soil found in Madhya Pradesh? So mm -hmm. I replied, the black cotton soil is very much found in Madhya Pradesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were like, okay, so what are the uh, like the chemical compounds responsible for the expansive nature of uh, black cotton soil? So I replied, Mount Morimonite and all. 
then they ask like what type of foundation we should prefer on a black uh, cotton soil so uh, my answer was like under him file are given so he was satisfied then uh, mm. the other interviewer came and uh, he mm. was like okay uh, you have not mentioned but i will definitely ask from environmental engineering because it's mm. a important aspect for a nuclear power plant mm -hmm. and mm. in that basically they asked about air pollution only like what mm. are the different type of plumes and mm. uh, about a uh, little bit about uh, noise pollution also like what mm. are the uh, formulas through which we can derive the water uh, the intensity of the sound or the noise pollution mm. and mm. Uh, there are certain uh, limits given in the indian standard code so what mm. are those limits for commercial area or industrial area or a residential area and all mm. and uh, these are the basic questions only like 45 minutes mm. interview hmm acha aditya main kuch puchunga isme se aapse number 1 you are a fresh graduate so abhi aap june mein hi pass out ho rahe hue hain so did they ask you anything related to your college life like college mein aap kya karte the extra curricular kya karte the no, ya aapka no, project sir. kaisa tha ya aapka internship kaisa tha nothing sir i was i prepared all these things but they like after intro like after introduction they were like okay then get up and solve the question we i do on the board okay so majority of the question they asked you to solve on the board right yeah like so 60% as a, as a physically board hota hai piche jahan pe aap chale jate ho aur aap likhte ho is something like that yes sir white board white board like you are sitting and behind you there is a white board along with markers and all hmm hmm so there are a panel of nine people huh? there's a quite a big panel yes sir hmm so did everybody ask you question <clears throat> yes sir Hmm. So, like the interview, में... like the interview board chairman uh, asked me some basic introduction and all. After that, he got out of the interview room. Then only eight people were there. So, do you think this chairman is from civil engineering background or any other background? Sir, I can't confirm that. Okay. So, so and uh, uh, about these members, do you think all were from NPCIL or as some people say they are from BARC also because it is in Bombay and all? There might be some people from BARC also. Okay. Mm. And as a people say that in NPCIL they ask you favorite subjects, but then they ask you question from anywhere. Yes, like in my case, they ask from environmental and building materials and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So, आपको जब आपका इंटरव्यू हुआ तो आपको क्या लगा था कि आपका अच्छा गया है इंटरव्यू व्हाट दैट फीलिंग वाज देयर सर लाइक थ्री और फोर क्वेश्चन आई वाज नॉट एबल टू आंसर सो आई थॉट दैट आई माइट बी ऑन द लाइक मार्जिन लाइन वेदर लाइक ऑफ नॉट बीइंग सिलेक्टेड बाय फोर फाइव मार्क्स बट टू माय सरप्राइज द कट ऑफ वाज 75 और 76 आई गेस एंड आई गॉट 79 मार्क्स Hmm. So NPCIL may intro is the only criteria for selection, right? Yes, sir. How many times of people they must be calling? Like, jitni number of seats unhone fill karni hai, uska kitna times bolate honge? Sir, for every seat they call twelve candidates. Hmm. Twelve times. And uh, this intro ka uh, cut off as you told that for general category you are talking about seventy five marks. Yes, sir. Hmm. And what can be the highest score? Any idea about that? Uh, sir, mine is seventy nine, and uh, my rank is eight in the general category link, uh, like okay. general category list. Uh, so I might be like eighty five, might be the highest score. So this rank that is only on the basis of the interview. Yes, sir. Hmm. What advice can you give to students? Who have come to NPCL and who are going to interview? So what what is your advice to those students, civil engineers? Sure. मेरी तो एडवाइस यही होगी कि जो आपके बेसिक सब्जेक्ट है लाइक आरसीसी सोन स्ट्रक्चर और इफ पॉसिबल फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स आल्सो एंड एनवायरनमेंट डेफिनेटली एंड स्टील सो दीस आर द बेसिक सब्जेक्ट यू कैन प्रिपेयर एंड यू डोंट नीड टू प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम एनीवेयर एल्स लाइक यू हैव डन रेड योर नोट्स फॉर द गेट एग्जाम सो यू कैन प्रिपेयर थ्रू दोस नोट्स ओनली लाइक यू कैन रिवाइज देम वंस हम्म ओके आदित्य नाउ ये जो आपका इंटरव्यू होता है इसमें कई क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं जो आपसे आंसर नहीं होते तो आप उसका गलत आंसर करते हो तो क्या आंसर ना देने से बहुत मार्क्स करते हैं या कई बच्चे ब्लफ करते हैं वो ट्राई करते हैं सॉल्व आंसर करने का कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं आता तो व्हाट शुड बी डायरेक्शन सर 
from my point of view you should def like in case of particularly in case of ba rc and npcil you should say that sir i don't know the answer because bluffing creates a sense in their minds like uh, you are not a little bit responsible towards the yes. truthfulness of the corporation mm -hmm. so in my point of view in especially in npcil and bar you should say like i don't know sir or i can't recall right now sir because in my case also i was not able to answer three four questions Hmm. It's true. So, Aditya, just like Rajasthan and Rawat Bata is, I think, one of the power plants there we have. So, posting where do you chance to get in NPCL? Sir, I don't have any idea. But the initial training for the initial training is in Karnatak, in the atomic power plant. Hmm. So, are all the civil engineers or all the branch of the children? No, there will be civil, civil ki training there. Pe hogi. How hmm. many students have shortlisted for the civil school? Sir, total 45 students. Hmm. Total. That is including general category and all? Huh? Yes, sir. All categories. Hmm. In general, there are 18 students. Hmm. So, last rank gate score will be given to the last child? Seven, sir, it was around 762, I guess, for interview call. Hmm. 762 gate score? Huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's it, uh, Aditya. I think you have told a lot of things for the students and which are uh, very, very helpful. Any message to the student who is listening to you? Because a student uh, interviews Sara, and after that, you have to give them a message to the students who are listening to you. I would say that my rank was 314 and my interview was sitting with me and there was no All India Rank 12. Tha. 39 rank, tha, 45 rank, tha, 127 rank. Tha. So, you have to demotivate them because selection is purely interview based. Hai. Yaha pe gate score is not a good thing. Gate score level, like qualifying nature, ka tha, ki interview ke liye qualifying. Karna. Or, secondly, sir, interview can be confidence lose. If you have to answer, you have to confidently say that you have to answer, that you have to out of scope, ka hai, ya, I can't recall right now. And hmm. thirdly, sir, you have to basic notes prepare for the Like, so you have to read for the create. Like RCC, SOM, or environment, and uh, uh, one geotech. So I would definitely say that these four subjects you should prepare for any interview of these. Hmm. Wonderful. So, Aditya, that brings us to an end of this wonderful session. And uh, I wish you all the very best for your profession ahead. And thanks a lot for your time, Aditya. Thank you.